Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to make macrame and I'm gonna show you five basic knots of macrame. So let's get started. The first knot that I'm gonna show you it's the most basic one and it's basically the foundation of every macrame project that you're gonna do. So we're taking our rope folded in two creating a loop on the top. We will pull over uh, the loop over the wooden stick and then we're gonna take the two strings and pull them in pull them through the loop and we're gonna just pull it tight and that's it that it's our basic uh, macrame knot and this as I said it's the foundation of every macrame project the next knot is called the square knot and for this we're going to need four strings we're gonna take our left string forming something like the number four and then we're gonna take our right string put it under the left then we're gonna put it behind and pull it through the loop formed by the left string and we're gonna pull it tight and this is the half square knot and to finish the entire knot we're gonna do exactly the same thing but in reverse we are going to take our right string forming the number four we're gonna take then our left string put it under the right and we're gonna put it behind and pull it through the loop formed by the right string and then we're gonna pull it tight and this is our full square knot this knot it's very important because it's one of the most used uh, knots in macrame projects so and you can see I'm gonna show you uh, one more time so you can see it better a little bit uh, more faster though <laughs> And when you finish, you're gonna have something like this. For the next knot, we're going to need two strings. We're going to take our left string and we're gonna put it like this, forming the number four as we did with the square knot. And then we're gonna put it behind and pull it through the loop. And then we have to pull it tight. And after this, we have to do exactly the same thing, but in reverse. We're gonna take our right string put it behind and pull it through the loop and as we repeat the same step again in the both sides we're gonna form something like a beautiful chain that can be used for flower hangings and other macrame projects the next knot is also very used in macrame projects we are going to take our left and final string forming a diagonal and then we are going to take our next string form and form something like the letter u and then we're gonna pull the first string through the loop and pull it tight and we are going to make with these two strings one more knot we're going to take the left string we're gonna form something like the number four we're gonna pull it behind and pull it through the loop and pull it tight i hope i'm gonna explain this well because it seems a little bit complicated but it's not it's just repetition but uh, i'm that's why i'm showing it slowly so you can see better again we're gonna put it diagonally and we're going to take our second string form the letter u and then we're gonna pull it through the loop And then we are going to make again a second knot on these two strings. And we're gonna pull it tight. And then again we're gonna put it diagonally and we are going to take our next string and just basically repeat the same step until we finish all the strings. Don't forget that on each two strings we are making two knots. I know it sounds it sounds complicated but once you start doing it it's actually not complicated at all it's just repetition and then a little bit fast forward I'm just repeating the same step until I finish all the strings and slowly you're gonna see that um, that f with the knots we are creating a diagonal form and as I said before, this uh, knot is very used in macrame projects. And you can see how it looks like this. 
and then we are going to make again another diagonal with knot but the same thing but in reverse we are going to take our final string form the letter U and then pull it through the knot and don't forget that on each two strings we are making two knots it's basically what we did uh, the same thing that we did but in reverse and we're just gonna repeat the same step until we finish all the strings. I hope you can see well, I'm showing it slowly slowly because I know when I was learning this in the beginning it was kind of frustrating when I was uh, searching all the tutorials and they were so fast. That's why I decided to make it, to make it really slow so you can really see better how you can uh, make this knot. And it's, it's really beautiful in the end actually and uh, you can use so many variation of this knot it can be horizontal, it can be um, vertical but uh, I wanted to show you the diagonal variation because this one it's uh, mostly used in uh, macrame projects I really think that this knot is really beautiful and here you can see how it looks like when we are finished and here I made one more for you to see how it looks like if you repeat it many times. Now on to the next knot, we're going to take our left string, form the number 4 and then take our right string, put it behind and pull it through the loop and pull it tight. And now we are going to just repeat the same step again and again. If you notice, well, this, um, this knot is basically a half square knot. And as we repeat the same step again and again, we are going to see that uh, little by little uh, something like a spiral is formed naturally. We just have to be. Uh, we just have to keep repeating the same step. And here I'm just making a little twist, and then I'm just keep on repeating the same step. I can say that this knot is also very popular. I saw it in many flower hangings, wall hangings. And in the end actually it looks uh, very pretty. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit so um, you don't get bored with a very long video. It's very long anyway already. And as you can see a very beautiful spiral it's formed and here you can see the result. And now we finally got to our last knot for today, we're going to take our left string, form the uh, number 4, put it behind and pull it through the loop. As you can see, most of the knots are very repetitive, I mean the technique is very very similar. And we're going to just repeat the same knot again and again. And as we repeat the same knot, you're going to see that slowly we're forming a very beautiful spiral. And then here I'm just gonna make one more and I'm just gonna twist it a little bit. And here I'm just gonna twist it like this and as you can see the spiral it's already starting to form and I'm just gonna repeat the same step until I reach the how, how long I want it to be. If you reach this part of the video, thank you so much for your patience. I know in this video it's quite long, but I can see that macrame is quite popular now and many people want to learn how to make decorations from macrame for their houses. 
So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And we are going to see each other in my next video. Bye!